Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can build a custom title bar for your Neutrino JS applications. If we take this one as example, this is a window. This window uses a native title bar as you can see. So if uh, this particular application is a cross-platform application, if you run the, uh, this application in a uh, Windows platform maybe, then you will get a Windows flavored uh, title bar for this application. Right now it is a kind of a Ubuntu uh, flavored title bar here because uh, this is a native title bar but most applications out there uses a custom title bar to make uh, consistent styling for the title bar so in this uh, tutorial I will uh, show you how we can build a custom title bar to demonstrate this uh, custom title bar implementation in new technologies I already created an application called uh, custom title bar now I am going to run this application using the CLI the run command So this is the application uh, that uses a custom title bar. So if we uh, compare this application with uh, other uh, window that has a kind of a native title bar, you can see this is uh, uh, designed with HTML and CSS. Those buttons are created uh, with HTML dues and also styled with CSS. But here this is uh, basically coming from the operating system. Currently it, uh, this is like Ubuntu flavored uh, title bar. So uh, as a normal window we can move this uh, window as well by dragging uh, this title bar area and uh, we can use uh, this uh, minimize button to uh, minimize the window like this and we can click uh, here to get back the window again. So here we have this uh, maximize window uh, option uh, it is kind of uh, 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 ASCII sign now if we uh, click on here so it will be like window will be maximized then the icon will be changed into kind of restore uh, sign so uh, if we click on uh, this icon then it will restores the window uh, finally we have this close button as well here if we uh, click on uh, this close button the application will be closed like this now uh, let's check how this one is uh, implemented as you can see those uh, buttons are not uh, very well designed because this is for only for the demonstration uh, purposes so I just use this uh, uh, hyphen sign as the uh, minimize character minimize icon and also this O uh, sign to uh, represent this uh, maximize uh, icon and uh, finally I use this uh, X uh, character to uh, show this close buttons icon but you can use uh, any kind of uh, like uh, icon, uh, web uh, icon, so uh, maybe uh, PNG icons uh, for these things. Now let's uh, check the implementation details. So first I created a new project uh, using new CLI as I mentioned. So uh, then after that I modified uh, several files to get this uh, custom title bar uh, working. I just uh, modified this existing like minimal template to build this uh, custom title bar but you can use any front end framework to build the Neutrino.js applications with the uh, custom title bar. So uh, first what I did was uh, I uh, modified this index.html by adding the custom title bar. So I created uh, one div uh, with identifier title bar. Then inside that I created uh, title basically the uh, custom title bar's title text so it goes here then in the right side uh, next uh, I created the buttons area inside this buttons div I created the uh, buttons first I created this uh, minimize button then I created the maximize or restore uh, button then uh, finally I created the close button so each uh, a button or div has uh, some uh, on-click action, on-click JavaScript action and those uh, methods are triggered. Those things are implemented in main JS file. As I mentioned I use some ASCII characters uh, to demonstrate uh, but you can use any icon uh, as you wish. And also uh, I use the same uh, uh, sample application uh, implementation here. Basically the content you uh, get with the new create command. If you check the main JS so I added uh, this section, this custom title bar section uh, after the uh, normal sample application implementation. 
as you can see there are uh, three methods to handle window operations first we can see close button click so it is uh, triggered from uh, this div so when it is triggered uh, you basically uh, call this uh, new terminal dot tap dot exit method so but uh, if you want you can add uh, some confirmation dialogs as well but right now i will uh, use this one to uh, close the application so if we check the second method this is a uh, minimize button click so and it is uh, triggered from here minimize button click so it will basically call this uh, uh, window operation window dot minimize so this will basically minimize uh, the window the third method is uh, looking a bit uh, longer than other methods because there is some conditional uh, check as well so if we check uh, this method it is maximize the restore button click so we we are using one button uh, to handle maximize and also restore operations so it is triggered from this div and first we need to check whether the window is maximized or not if it is maximized uh, then we are going to uh, trigger this unmaximized uh, uh, window operation and also we are going to uh, change the that button's text into o the previous one then uh, if it is not maximized then we are we are going to maximize it right then we need to change the text into that uh, the the restore button restore icon so if we check uh, here if we click on it it will be changed into restore uh, uh, sign then the window is maximized right now then if i click uh, here again then it uh, the, the code will check whether the window is uh, maximized or not right now it is maximized right then we are going to restore it then we are going to change the icon back to uh, the maximize icon so that's how it works so there is one additional uh, code here one line so this is basically to enable the dragging uh, feature so uh, every native window uh, is draggable right if we take uh, this uh, if we take this uh, terminal or the console for an example we can uh, click here and drag right similarly we need to uh, enable dragging in this custom title by cell now uh, if this method basically enables the dragging feature uh, here we need to provide the uh, title bar the basically the dom id of uh, the the element that we need to enable uh, dragging so we need to enable dragging for this particular uh, element right the whole uh, title bar then uh, i provided it here uh, to this method so if we check the app application then we can drag the application using a uh, mouse right so as next steps so you can modify these uh, buttons right we can add some hover effects uh, like that and also you can uh, add uh, better icons for these things instead of these ascii characters and also you can apply some uh, styling uh, here additional styling to add maybe some kind of menu bar here uh, to trigger uh, some menu uh, rendering here so likewise you can improve these things however in the framework side there is uh, some improvements to be done for this custom title bar feature because uh, if we uh, move this window slowly it will work right some kind of uh, uh, slow motion if we move this one it will work fine right but uh, if you move this uh, one very fast like that it is not smooth and uh, kind of uh, buggy right so we are going to fix it uh, soon so uh, but right now uh, we we can solve this uh, buggy behavior by applying the uh, dragging uh, support for the whole uh, window whole like kind of large region that you happens if we apply this uh, set draggable region for kind of thin area like this but if it is large uh, i can demonstrate that maybe if we apply this set draggable region uh, option to a kind of large area like uh, neutrino app maybe i guess it is a kind of a large div now it is working smoothly right so that's kind of work around to uh, fix that issue if uh, you are having some kind of a thin title bar but we are going to fix that issue soon So that's how you can build a custom title by Newtonologies. See you in next video.